Okay, so A is 5, B is 13, and C is 6. Just plug it into our quadratic formula. So X equals the opposite of B. So that'd be negative 13 plus and minus the square root of b squared, which would be 169, minus 4 times a times c, all over 2 times a, which is 5. So x equals negative 13 plus and minus the square root of 169 minus 120 all over 10. So that would be x equals negative 13 plus and minus the square root of 49. Oh, look at that. That worked out nice. All over 10. So, x equals negative 13 plus and minus 7 over 10. So that's going to give me x equals negative 13 plus 7 over 10 and negative 13 minus 7 over 10. So negative 13 plus 7 would be negative 6 divided by 10. So that's going to be negative three-fifths and then here I'd have negative 20 divided by 10 so that was going to be negative 2 and those are my two solutions for number 81